Yo, I'm dancing in a dust storm. It's like dancing in the rain, except I'm too afraid to actually dance in the rain, especially in front of an audience. The audience being this water God has sent to wash away my sins. I'm scared of dancing in the rain because it just might wash away all of this dirt and this mud that I was born in. All of this dirt and this mud that I have grown from. So I dance in a dust storm. I dance in places that add to my baggage so I never have to deal with unpacking it. The most I ever do is unzip one suitcase, one memory, and then I stumble into a chapter in my life that gives me six more and I decide it's all the suitcase. Can't wait. The problem with that is every suitcase is old once you get a new one and this dust never stops hitting me. I'm dancing in a dust storm with my eyes wide open in hopes that I'll go blind to the things that hurt me and I'm gonna have to look at myself again because the last time I looked at myself it started with slurred words and blurred vision and that is not a place I can escape from. Twice. Oh. I'll be honest, y'all, that's not a place I can escape from four, five, or ten times. I've got a lot of dust in my dust storm. We do live in a desert. And at least I'm dancing. At least I'm not sitting on the floor like I do in the shower. At least I'm up and I'm moving and thinking and feeling and creating and growing. At least I am dancing. At least I am me. At least I think I am. I wonder what's going to happen the day my legs are too tired to dance. Will I just fall off into obscurity? Or will I still be known? Will other people dance to the beat of my poems and find a way to escape their own storms? And will I be the subtitles to a life in shambles? Is it my for a change? And I hope so. That's the only reason I'm still dancing in this dust storm so I can feel this pain and learn how to get over it and put that knowledge into a poem so someone else can get over it. I will never get over it because I'm scared the day I do was the day I stop having value. I feel I'm only as powerful as the struggles that haven't killed me yet. If I cut off all my thorns, what type of rosebush would I be? And sure, while having these thorns, I might stab my soul every once in a while, every hour or two. But at least I have a defense against the people that want to pluck my soul for the beauty of it. I thought you were supposed to water the flowers you love so you can watch them grow instead of ripping them from their roots and all that gives them life. My worst fear is to be a dead flower used as a bookmark in a book that does not contain my writing. So I dance in a dust storm and I grow my thorns, laws into my petals. Every once in a while I dip myself into the rain just so I could be watered. Just so I know there really is hope for a better life. But once this dirt I was raised in starts to come off my body, I always run back to the dust storm. Honestly, I don't know what I'm more afraid of. Losing myself when I wash my body clean. Or finding myself when I no longer have this dirt weighing me down. So I stay somewhere in the middle. I might be in a dust storm. But at least I'm dancing. Thank you. Yes. Yeah.